So first, I just want to say that all the paints that are going to be used on this vehicle are either Vallejo uh, acrylic paints that I hand paint things, like uh, the guy, uh, he'll mostly be uh, Vallejo, and some of the smaller parts will be Vallejo. Uh, the other paint that I will be using is testers uh, spray paints or the little bottle paints that you put into an airbrush. Like I have uh, maroon paint for the body, I have silver paint in the bottle uh, that I'll airbrush for all of the silver parts and black paint for the wheels and some blue paint for the guy's outfit. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, some of it doesn't have any talking, just music, and then the rest of it does have talking. All right, thank you for watching. Okay, so got the car painted now, clear coated with gloss, and we've got all of the silver painted. Anything I have left to do is this piece and the guy at this point, and then the assembly. But everything's been sanded down and trimmed and painted and pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to do those and then the decals. All right. Okay. All the decals are on. Now the Texaco one didn't come with the kit. I added that. This kit does not come with any decals for your gauges. So that is hand painted. I tried to make that look like wood in there. But the seven and the eight, when I put it together, I made 78. Got a little bit of touch up to do after the spray, mainly back in there on the seat. It might have been a little bit wet when I sprayed the gloss coat on it. So that's what we got so far of the car. Got the steering wheel done. Sprayed him blue. That's what the color of his outfit's gonna be. And then I gotta paint the rest of him up. And then once he's done, it's done. Now the seams on this that you can't see anymore. I think there's a hint of one right there. That's the only spot. All I did was glue it together with testers and then went over it with this and then sanded it all off. No seams. Looks great. See? So that's all you have to do. I mean, this isn't a very detailed kit, but you can make it look really nice. All right. The Atlantis Midget Racer, the 120th scale racer, is done. Take it in for a closer look.
And for a not so detailed kit, as you can see, there's a lot that you can do with it. And make it look detailed, make it look good. And then of course I add my own Texaco decal to it. Made the dashboard look like it's made of wood. Wanted it to look a little bit older. Instead of one number, we have two. Now I painted the exhaust so it looks like there's a hole there, but there's not. All the little there, those are all that is a Sharpie, a copper colored Sharpie. So basically, most of this is airbrushed, except for that leather that I hand painted. The figure was hand painted, except for the blue color of his jumpsuit that was sprayed. Oh, why the green helmet? Well. Green Texaco. The T is green, so that's why I put that green on there. That way there's something that kind of matches. But I think this turned out pretty good. So if you're interested in something like that, that is the kit that you have to get. I did a review on this. Also, this comes with a windshield, but I, I don't know. It's kind of it looked like it'd be kind of a pain in the ass to put on, so I decided not to put it on. But it does come with a clear plastic sheet that you can kind of fold and try to put on there, and I just decided against it. But, that is the kit. That is the final. Maybe I'll, not much to the bottom. Actually, that's where the engine piece goes in. So that's why that's not painted right. But. And there's not that many parts to it. Like I said, watch the review. And then you see the outcome, what you can do with it. Or make it look better. But uh, that is the car. That's what we got. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, please subscribe, and uh, God bless.